Hi Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for April 2018. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Uh, you can check your other signs to see if you can pick up um, something that would resonate for you. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can go to my website, moonpietarot.com. All the information is in the description box below, or you can reach me on Instant Go. If you have a quick question or would like to talk on the phone or chat with me about some things going on, and I can pull some cards for you there. Okay, so we'll get started with your reading. Now, I've already pulled your cards. So at the bottom of the deck here, you have the High Priestess. So I feel like what's going on is there's this energy for April where you're holding on to some type of a secret or there's a sense of connecting maybe with your higher self. Well, not maybe, definitely. The high priestess, she's kind of, like she has this energy of where she's all knowing. And I feel like there's this intuitive vibe that's been for some of you maybe screaming out to you or it's just this silent voice that keeps speaking to you telling you something and it's almost as if to say that you really need to uh, pay attention to this voice that you're hearing you some of you may have been suppressing it. Um, it's a very spiritual card. It can also be a card, a very, a card with sexual overtones as well. Um, it could also mean for some of you that you're in this phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to other people. It's a card about femininity um, tied to the moon, of course, which has to do with mystery, secrets, illusion. But it's saying that this is the time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious thoughts or your intellect. Definitely pay attention to any dreams that are coming to you right now. You'll probably sense a lot of synchronicities happening especially now that we're in Mercury retrograde, there's a lot of things coming to the forefront for a lot of people, a time of reflection. And this, I believe it began March 25th or 26th. So as far as love goes, this is definitely a magical time for love. Um, some of you may find, if you're a female, men throwing themselves at you. <laughs> um, but you will attract the good and the bad, okay? Um, so beware of that. It has nothing to do with, you know, that you have this energy where you're feeling like, why do I always attract bad types of people. I feel like it's going to be both because your femininity is going to be really standing out now. And if you're a male, you could be interested in a woman who is distant or unapproachable. Um, and that's probably how she's going to stay. So if a male or female, if you, you may notice that you are chasing someone who's unattainable or you have been. So just kind of pay attention to that energy and what's going on. Now, the hermit's in your past position. So this is also a time of reflection. Um, so as I'm recording this video, we're already in Mercury retrograde. So I feel like you guys are really starting to see some truths you've been reflecting or uh, taking a look at your love life or and your relationships with certain people, either a spouse or lover, a friend with benefits, a family member. 
anything along those lines, any, any relationship in any realm that you need to really get in touch with yourself about and get honest with yourself. Now here we have twice the King of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign or had been dealing with an earth sign in your past. So Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn doesn't have to be, but this person can be a little bit unattainable emotionally. So you may be, it could be also a Virgo because it's on the Hermit. Some of you may also be on the cusp of Virgo Libra, okay, and getting in tune and in touch with yourself as well. Um, you know, even if you're single and there isn't anyone else in your life or you're not having anyone that you need to reflect on, it could really just be the energy happening within you, okay? So the present situation is the Ace of Swords, and this is a card about overcoming obstacles. So I feel like uh, in, in April, you're going to be either getting truthful com uh, conversation or communication with someone. Just want to clarify, this is, this can be a harsh truth. Or it could be conversations with yourself, seeing the truth, speaking to yourself, hearing those messages that are talking to you. Okay, clarified by the chariot. So this is a movement energy. This is like a forceful direct movement type energy. So there could be communication about traveling or um, you could be telling someone what you're going to be doing now Either you could be moving or maybe you're moving out or moving in with someone or having a conversation about what it is that you want now, okay? This could also be someone coming to see you or communicating that to you. It could be someone from who was present or significant in the past. I feel this energy of clearing the air is happening in April. Now, the Empress... It's in the challenge and the benefit position. And the Empress, she always represents new beginnings. Could be a new birth, a pregnancy, something to do with new birth or pregnancy. She is, to me, she represents, you know, the, the mother figure. So some of you could be dealing with a mother She's mysterious, fertile, very sexual. So a lot of you may have this need, if you're female, to get in touch with your feminine side or to need, or need to get back to that if you've felt like you've lost that to some degree. And even if you're male, there's an energy of you needing to do that as well. The Empress doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what's wrong in anything that she does. It doesn't mean she always gets her way. So there could be that energy happening where there's something that you are trying to manifest, that you are trying to have your way with. And it's a bit of a challenge. So it could be with another person. And it's a challenge for you to, you know, like have someone else see your point of view or to see your side of a situation. There may be someone who's just not seeing something or not believing something or not understanding something about you. Maybe there's an energy with the Ace of Swords that you need to be more clear in your communication with someone. But again, the Empress represents someone that, uh, as a female, uh, you know, she, she attracts a lot of suitors. 
And I feel like you, it'll be a challenge for you to see yourself in the way that others see you, but you will begin to do that. Okay. Um, there is a possibility that true love could come your way but it will just maybe be, it's just, it's beneficial for you because I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're getting ready to, in April, be truthful about what you want and be truthful with your partner about what you need. And it's, you know, in the benefit position for you to do that. Now, what's driving you is the four of swords. It's like, it's kind of like though there's this part of you that just doesn't want to open up. You'd rather retreat. And why? Why do you want to retreat? It could be a bit of fear, to be honest and truthful with someone. Well, there's the Queen of Swords, so that represents you. I feel like for a lot of you, you've, you have been speaking to someone or you have tried to get someone to see your side of the the issue and it's just you're tired of having to say this or something over and over again and there's a part of you that doesn't want to offend someone because a queen of swords can be kind of she's harsh she's not mean but she's harsh because her truth is her truth and she will just say it okay so What's crowning you is the unknown card. And, you know, the unknown card, it's kind of like your, I feel with that message for that card in relation to everything that's happening is your head in your head, you're kind of like not sure what to do. You're feeling maybe a bit trapped. The things are not fully, there's not a full amount of clarity quite yet about which direction you want to go. Got the Knight of Wands here. So you could be dealing with someone that uh, has kind of this energy where they're just, they're in and out of your life. And it's hard for you to tell whether or not this person is altruistic if they truly want to be with you or if they're just playing. And so that's why there's this unknown energy because there's doubt, but you want to cut through the thickness of that doubt and trust your gut and trust your intuition. It's almost as if you know that there are other options out there for you, you know, that you can attract any person that you want because of your femininity and your beauty, you know, but there's just something about perhaps this one particular person because they are emotionally unavailable or they have this energy where they're just very reserved and they don't share how they feel and you need more, you need truth, you need honesty to come out. So I do see communication, truthful communication that will take place during this time. Your near future card, you have the six of pentacles. So communicating with someone in particular, and, and in the case that if you are single and this is a friend or a family member, I just feel like you're, you might be trying to figure out if you need to put an ultimatum down, but you're not sure if this person, again, like I said, is being truthful with you. Okay. So I do feel like there will be reciprocity after communication. I feel like if you, you know, you express some things to this person, they will open up they will share back with you. And the Page of Wands is here, so that's great. So there will be positive messages, an exchange of messages that will be very positive and creative and, and fun. 
I feel like you, you, there's just something that you've had that you've been carrying around for a little while that you have just not been sure about and you're trusting your intuition now and you're coming out with it, whatever it may be, whatever it is that you need to communicate with someone. And this could also go in the opposite direction where it could be the other person who has been closed up because they haven't known what it is that they've wanted to express or they weren't sure about you. But I do see communication happening here, overcoming these obstacles and these problems. A page of wands is, it's always sweet. Uh, you may find that there is someone from your past that may open up, say to you, they've had a thing for you for a while, could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. <clears throat> but I do feel sometime in April, maybe like the third week perhaps, or somewhere second to third week, there will be an even exchange of feelings. So in the position of your advice, you have the five of cups. And... I feel that is coming through for you as advice to let you know that you need to detach a little bit from expectation. You may need to say to a particular person, as part of your communication with them that not a threat, but, you know, to express to someone, I'm at the end of this now, this relationship or, or the, whatever it is that we've developed here cannot move forward unless we have honesty and truth. Okay. So as far as you communicating to this person, that is your advice to express to that person. It's not a threat that if you don't do this, I'm going to leave, but it's just that to be honest with that person that, you know, you're not ready perhaps to move into a new relationship with anyone, but you need space to sort this out because you're not happy here anymore. And you're feeling like you want to walk away. And the Nine of Pentacles is here. So that's an energy of wanting to be single if you're in a relationship, wanting to be on your own. So detaching yourself from you having a conversation with someone and you know, not having any expectation of them, of them, but I do feel it will be reciprocated in that they will communicate with you about how they feel. So in the position of the other person who you're dealing with, the wheel of fortune is here. So they feel that this really is a favorable time to communicate with the Eight of Wands. This is positive messages. And I do feel that April is a good time for you to, to actually open up. And even if you just have to communicate that you just don't know anymore and you're feeling ready to just move on. <clears throat> I don't feel like that person wants you to move on. I do feel like they want to work it out. They just have been closed up. So I feel like they're going to bring you positive news. It will be favorable. It reciprocated back to you about whatever it, uh, you need to express to someone. The position of your hopes and fears is the six of swords. So you do fear that you're going to have to just 
make this necessary transition. There is a bit of fear because maybe you would feel better just, you know, in other words, you don't want to upset the apple cart. You don't want to rock the boat because you don't want to be alone or, or you don't want to feel like things aren't going to work out. But in a sense too, you're hopeful that it, if it doesn't, there's light on the other side that you will be able to drop your sword and move forward into the light. Now your outcome is the Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So this person that you're dealing with, whoever they may be, they're a bit insecure and there is a chance that things will get resolved and they will reciprocate back to you. But I feel like there's some stuff going on with them where they're kind of like this self-imposed prisoner. They, There is a chance they will go back into their old ways of being. Yeah, with the hangman and just feeling like, you know, I mean, you might actually come to realize going into May that things really aren't going to change, not change, but this is who this person is that you're dealing with. There will be some communication with them and it will be positive and it will be full of ideas and ways to move forward or to change things. But I kind of get a sense, and I'm just going to be honest here, that this person they're enthused, but I feel like they're just going to go back to their old way again. So you may need to go through this process during this month to be able to see this. I mean, if you've already communicated with this person time and time again about things you need or what, you know, direction you need to go or how to overcome things, this may, might be the final time where you might have that surge of energy or that one last feeling of hope, a roll in the hay, that kind of thing, whatever your situation is. But I feel like that person, this person has some stuff going on, you know, mental self-esteem issues, things like that. And that's why they're not truly open and expressive and loving. Okay. And that could be why your advice is to perhaps walk away and focus on being that single person, self-reliant, independent, takes care of him or herself. And I do feel like that is your advice. I know a lot of you want reconciliation and everything to work out and marriage or, you know, unicorns and butterflies, but that's not how life works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So let me pull a card from the romance angel stack for your love advice for April. One of the messages for Libra for love for April. children. So it says your love life is being affected by children. That might resonate for some of you where this energy is, you know, there are children and uh, connected to this relationship somehow. You may feel like this is your number one priority is your children. And if this relationship is not going to work out, you need to focus on taking care of your kids because it's draining you. Okay. And for those of you who don't have children, well, let me back up. It could also be if you don't, the other person that you're dealing with has children and that's why they are emotionally unavailable to you because they are putting their children first. So some of this issue could come up with where um, it's just difficult for you to be in a relationship with this person because of their priorities with their children. Okay, so it's not a bad thing. It's just that if it's not 
working for you, you have to deal with that situation and perhaps let it go. Okay. Um, and here too, the page of wands can also be a card about children or a child. So some of this uh, communication could come back to you uh, where it is. It does have something to do with the children. Now, if no one has any children, this is just an energy of, you know, um, for you, if you're back in this place where you decide to, yeah, and just so you know, I don't really, there's no like, there's no three of swords here, but the five of cups is here. And this is walking away from the emotion, the emotional aspect of the relationship. But it's also for you to focus on taking on that childlike energy again and, and going out and having fun and playing and, and spending time with children or spending time with friends from your childhood. Um, it could also just be with this person that you're dealing with, finding this place where the two of you can enjoy maybe this last chance of playfulness with each other. Although I do feel like it would be difficult with the person that you're dealing with because they seem very serious to me or they just have this energy where they're, you know, they have stuff, you know, I just feel like they have stuff going on here that they need to sort out and you may need to let them go to do that for them to do that. They may have, or you may have past childhood traumas or issues that need to be sorted too for some of you. Okay, so whether this is a love relationship, uh, romantic, or a family member, parent, siblings, friends, it, it all kind of mixes in and it really just depends on, you know, what your energy is, what your situation is. I'm just reading for so many people, so I really can't pinpoint exactly what that is. But I do feel there will be truthful communication during April that will finally clear the air. Now, come May, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, this is just one small snapshot of the year as the months progress to see what would happen. But your advice is definitely to detach emotionally from this situation and to just have honest communication from the heart, from your intuition, from your gut with this person about, you know, what's going on or what, what you need. If it has something to do with pregnancy or something to do with a mother, um, it could be a female mother who's attached to the person you're dealing with. It could be with your own mother. It could be with your childhood, something to do with um, a birth. Okay. So I am feeling children energy happening here, but I'm sure you can leave me a comment if you like, and let me know how this might resonate for you. Um, so I'm going to end your reading here. And again, if you'd like to get a personal reading, just check the description box below, or you can visit my website, moonpietarot.com to request a reading from me. Okay, Libra. Thank you. And I wish you a very happy April. Take care.